All right, so uh, here's that $5 mini bike that I got. We're finally gonna do something with it. So my friend Matt Charrington made uh, his Iceberg 650 it's a uh, like a Honda Ruckus, Chinese Honda Ruckus that he stretched out and put a 650 Bergman motor on it. And uh, it's so long, you know, I laughed and told him, you know, he should make it a limo and be able to ride a couple people. But uh, that wasn't his plans and he did what he did and it's awesome as hell. But uh, I still held on to the idea and kind of liked the idea of that. So, I kind of did this. We uh, took and cut this $5 mini bike in half, and then I added 10 feet to it. So, I'm guessing it's close to 14 feet long. This is, as far as I know, the world's longest mini bike. And I have this uh, extra drive wheel, so we're going to add uh, an extra motor and drive wheel on the back, so it'll have two motors, two drive wheels, and I'm guessing about five passengers, maybe six. It's not going to steer for shit, I know that it's uh, definitely not practical, but it's going to be fun. Alright, so I got the pipes welded in there. I did a little bit of welding off camera and uh, got the, some bracing in here. In the back here, I uh, just welded uh, two more tabs for the wheel go on so I'm going to go ahead and throw that wheel on real quick So we got the wheel on there, and I had uh, made an engine plate here. Maybe we should put the wheel on the right way. Alright, so we got the wheel on there, the right way now, and the plate will go like this. And then it'll have... Get the engines on here and figure out the spacing of the engine plate and then we'll have two engines two wheels the back wheels we're gonna have to uh lower these down a little bit because this is sitting lower than that is so we gotta bring those back ones down about an inch 
nothing is a uh, finished wall, it's just, just got a little bit of wall to hold it together right now. And you can see uh, I had sleeved all the joints here so that I'm molding to the sleeve and to the pipe to give it a little extra strength. Not like this thing is not completely ridiculous anyway. But right now with all the uh, support and everything on here, it, uh, it's pretty strong. So I'm going to go ahead and get the engines mounted up to these plates and then we'll figure out where we need to put this one and we'll tack that in place, pull the engines back off and we'll lower that uh, other wheel mounting position. Alright, we got two engines here so we'll go ahead and stick these on. First one. The second one, we'll drop a couple bolts in here. I'm going to go ahead and take this chain and just laser it around here so we can see how that's going to line up with the wheel. That'll work pretty good right there.
All right, so that's not going anywhere now. We can pull these bolts back out and take the engines off. ahead and flip this over now so that we can work on that back wheel mount and get these both at the same height couple new ones of these just longer probably add about an inch to that and then uh, we'll go ahead and weld those on all right so we have both back wheels on it now and I went and uh, finished welding the frame here so we have the frame all welded up I might add a couple more bars in it and uh, both wheels are on there. You can see it uh, has a longer wheelbase than the car does. And, uh, it's definitely strong. So we gotta decide on a paint and uh, get this painted up and we have to put the two engines on it. I was gonna use those Tecumseh engines but the carburetor suck on those things so I'm not sure if I wanna try putting a different carburetor on there or just use a different engine. And uh, we still need to modify this front end. I'm gonna cut this out of here and remove the spring. And I'm gonna plate this whole front piece here so it's stronger. And uh, I might sleeve these tubes. It's definitely long. We're gonna have to make a seat for it, and then uh, figure out the throttle linkage and 
things like that. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.